Well, 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 it was just reported the Chiefs are bringing back a very familiar wide receiver, someone who will almost immediately be able to plug right into the offense and contribute. On top of that, another familiar face is reported to be getting a physical done tomorrow at the Chiefs team facility, which means he more than likely might be returning a defensive end we all know very well. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those all right, it was just announced today, Wednesday, October 18th, around 2.30 p.m. Central per Adam Schefter that the Jets wide receiver, also known as the Jet, McCall Hardman is being sent back to Kansas City in another late round draft pick swap per sources. And here's what the trade actually involved. The Jets are sending McCall Hardman and a 2025 seventh round pick to the Chiefs for a 2025 sixth round pick, which basically means they got him for nothing. And 2025, that's in two drafts. And some of you may be disappointed by this because this is more than likely the receiver the Chiefs are bringing in prior to the trade deadline. And I doubt they go after another, or at the very least, it makes them bringing in another receiver much less likely. And honestly, this makes sense for a lot of reasons. I talked about this in some recent live streams, but first off, McCall Hardman was not getting any playtime in New York, even though he was healthy. In fact, he has only been targeted three times on the year, catching one pass for six yards. And that's insane to think about considering he's had 500 plus yard seasons, three of his four years in KC. Anyway, from what I understand, he is healthy and the Chiefs should basically be able to instantly plug this man in to contribute both on the offense and on special teams. He basically becomes the best player on the team to run jet sweeps. Um, he runs a 4.3340. And for comparison, Justin Watson runs a 4.4440. And with Watson out for a few weeks, McColl could be the guy they use to stretch the field vertically uh, along with MVS in Watson's absence. He could also be used as a punt and kick returner and has done that plenty throughout his NFL career with a total of 62 punt returns and 39 kickoffs. Therefore, I think my Montrell Washington is most likely the guy that gets waived from the Chiefs 53-man roster to make room for McColl. Uh, Andy Reid said today in his presser that they weren't going to be placing Justin Watson on IR, so that's why Montrell Washington is my current best guess. Don't get me wrong, he was doing a good job as the team's returner, but if Dave Tobe is comfortable enough with McColl doing that, Montrell's value goes drastically down considering he doesn't know the Chiefs offense yet. Meanwhile, McColl was drafted by the Chiefs in 2019 and spent four years here in this offense, and he will basically instantly be able to plug in and help contribute on the offensive side of the ball as well as the return game. And I know some people probably aren't happy about this. They didn't want McCall Hartman to return, but it makes sense based on his familiarity with the offense, uh, his rapport with Mahomes, though that has struggled at times in his route running. And that will also add some speed to the offense that is lacking. I mean, look at the jet sweeps being ran and the bubble screens being caught by Tony right now. It's not really doing much. So what's it going to hurt to have McCall out there and giving it a go? And again, the former second round pick has been productive in this offense. He's put up over 500 receiving yards every year aside from last year when he got hurt. He's also a valuable weapon in the red zone with great speed and vision on jet sweeps. Just last year against the Niners, he scored three touchdowns on jet sweeps and was having a great season, a valuable target in the red zone where the Chiefs have struggled this season, going from second best last year to around 17th this year. So he was a great weapon for the Chiefs until he suffered a core muscle injury that placed him on IR. And while he did try to return in the playoffs, he got hurt again, and the injury did require off-season surgery, but I believe he is now all good to go. So again, this is basically the quickest way the Chiefs could get nearly instant production by bringing in a receiver from another team, a receiver who has been here for years and knows the offense and will bring value in his own way. He's not a wide receiver one or anything like that. But again, you get speed back for stretching the field, a guy who knows the system, he's great with jet sweeps, and is extremely cheap, basically costing the Chiefs nothing in return. I mean, they swapped a seventh for a sixth in 2025, and they'll probably have to pay McColl somewhere around a million dollars. But again, that is not much. And if that wasn't enough, right when I finished recording this video, it was reported from Carrington Harrison of 610 Sports. He said, source. Former Chiefs defensive lineman Frank Clark will be getting a physical done tomorrow at the Chiefs team facility, which means he's more than likely returning as well. Somebody actually tweeted out to Frank Clark saying, hey, if you're in Kansas City right now, I'd love to meet up and get some things signed if you're not too busy with family. And Frank Clark responded saying, link up on Red Friday. I land on Thursday, which again, today's Wednesday, October 18th. So that kind of coincides with Carrington Harrison reporting that Frank Clark will be getting 
getting a physical tomorrow, Thursday. And I actually talked about the potential of a Frank Clark return more in depth in yesterday's video. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead. But basically, man, he knows the system. He'll be able to be a rotational depth piece. And the reason why this is important in my eyes is you want as much valuable depth as humanly possible because injuries are going to accrue and pile up as the season moves along. Think about Drew Tranquil. They signed him and Nick Bolton got hurt and Drew Tranquil was able to step right in and help a already red hot Chiefs defense stay on fire. And Frank Clark, you know, he's again, gonna be like a Carlos Dunlap type of guy in my eyes, unless more injuries happen. And this is valuable depth. He knows the system. He is good at what he does and has no problem training the young guys up. And the Chiefs already owed him a bunch of dead cap anyway. So I would imagine if Frank Clark returns, this is gonna be pretty cheap as well. So you have three players now coming back this week. You have Charles Aminahue, you have McCole Hardman, and reportedly Frank Clark if he passes his physical. So we gotta keep our eyes on that. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the return of McCole Hardman. I gave you reasons why it made sense, but let me know reasons of your own. And then let me know your thoughts on Frank Clark and his return. I am definitely excited about the idea, especially for the shark who smells blood in the water during the postseason. And again, McColl is gonna be helpful in multiple ways as well. Both of these guys, super cost effective and already know the system, win, win. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go, let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.